So, I think it's happening. I think, um, I think it's finally happening. I think I'm literally about to film my first ever try on haul. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you will know that I've done a lot of hauls and that I have never done a try on haul before. Um, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a try on haul and I'm going to do it on a brand of clothing that I have never tried before. This is a brand new brand to me. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to show you all the stuff and then I'm going to do like I think I'm going to splice in clips of me trying it on. So, filming order, I'm going to tell you about all the stuff, and then I'm going to try it on, but I think you'll see it in the order where I, um, I tell you about a thing and then I try it on. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to see if I can find the actual prices on these things, because it's not on the invoice. I never heard about this brand before, but this girl I watch on YouTube, I am so compelled to apologize about my janky nails. They are so bad right now. Um, I have not painted them in uh, a hot minute, but uh, I feel like I'm very compelled to like throw some fake nails on or something, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get this video done. Done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. Okay, so janky nails aside, um, please forgive me. Uh, I want to start with why, okay, so I never heard about this brand before. It's called Rider Wear. And the reason that I purchased Rider Wear is because this girl that I watch on YouTube in the series, I'm going to, I'm going to call the series YouTube made me buy it. Not really, but like seriously, the amount of stuff that I buy because I see somebody on YouTube with it is unhealthy and I need help. But she was saying how she was like, oh, I just love how comfy and cozy it is. And I was like, I need some comfy and cozy clothes. Like this is my, this is my total vibe right now is just comfy, clo cozy clothes. I love like the sweater that I'm wearing. So I was like, yes, I need some comfy, cozy clothes. And hey, it's a plus if it is an activewear brand. Um, that I've never heard before, so I get to try out an activewear brand. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So I got like 10 items, but three, four of them. Four of them are just scrunchies, so I'm saying six. I got like six things. So let's start with the cozy sweater first. Is this cozy sweater? And I will try it on for you. But it was $23.00. And I got it in the medium. I hope, I hope that it's, I hope that it fits. I'm really in between sizes right now. I don't know what size I am. Uh, but this is called the Motion Oversized Sweater. And it has the, it has like rider wear, like kind of, um, like sewn in. There's a word for this type of, sewing that I can't remember but the I don't like that it's on the inside you can see how it's like you can see it through and that's gonna get a little bit scratchy it or at least it has that potential I do like that it has this like strip of fabric where it just says the brand name it serves a purpose it's actually gonna keep the sweater from sliding around too much because the the labeling of it is silicone-y so I think that will help keep it from like sliding around too much. My favorite thing about this sweater, even though I haven't even tried it on yet, is so far is just the thickness of the fabric. Um, another thing I'm not a huge fan of is this back. You could see the little insignia on the back if it'll focus on that. The reason I'm not a huge fan of this is because I think it will wear off when it goes through the wash and it's just going to make the sweater look older than it is. Eventually I'm probably going to have to like peel the lid, like peel the rest of it off. I just see that in this garment's future. It was only $24, $23.98 for 
for the sweater so I think that's a really good price on such a thick cotton it's a 65 poly 35% cotton blend and it does feel super soft I wish there was a little bit more cotton in it but uh, I think they did a really good job with what they were working with the next big cozy thing is this pair of track pants and I love the I guess yeah like the brand name just kind of going down the side in a like a strip of fabric I really like that these are otherwise pretty standard looking track pants they are tapered at the end so some people don't like that so if you don't like that you know don't get these I do also like where the like where the where the strings go inside it says rider wear I don't know if that's gonna show up and then I do like the aglets on these good quality thick like plasticky aglets you know it's just the small details that matter to me and then they have big pockets but there's no zipper on any of the pockets so I don't know I feel like these pockets are just too they're kind of straight in instead of down so I don't know if that's like a style thing if it's gonna look better but it won't hold things as well <laughs> so these are 95% cotton which is what I like to see uh, they are very soft 5% and elastane if you like care you know it allows it to be a little bit more stretchy the elastane probably mostly in here right these were $38.46. It's uh yeah, I'm gonna put these two pieces on together as an outfit, I guess. I don't know. The my concern so having not tried these on yet, I think I should have probably bought the extra large. These look a little small and I'm worried they're gonna be tight. I am not excited about that. We'll see. We'll see. Work. Okay. Um, so let's see. Can you see this? I don't know if you guys can see the clothes at all, but uh, yeah, this is my first time doing a try on haul, so enjoy that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see on the footage whether you can see me or not. But um, I have greatly misunderestimated the comfort of these clothes. Oh my god, I am like just blissful over the level of comfort. This is so, so comfy, so comfy. But yeah, so this is the sweater. It's definitely oversized in the body part. In the arms, I'd say it's like kind of, it's a little bit big. So yeah, oversized is a good characterization, I suppose. Well, I think it's cute for sure. I like it, I like it. <laughs> I like it so much, I haven't even taken the tags off of it yet. That's fantastic. But yeah, I'm into it. Uh, then the pants, again, like they're so comfortable. Now these I would say are not oversized. They're probably like kind of, they're like a little bit on the big side, but like not really. So I would order your normal size. So these are super, super comfy though. Uh, the pockets are actually deeper than I thought they were. So you might have some luck getting some stuff to stay in there. They probably could even fit a phone. I wonder, oh, with my phone in the other room. So we don't get to find out today, but they're really, really comfortable. I'm not a huge fan of like how tight, I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> how tight the, um, what is that called? The, the elastic is at the base at the ankle. I just don't love that, right? Some people really don't like it. I'll tolerate it, it's fine. I, I'm enjoying the pants so far. They're, they're just really comfy. So if you're into comfy, comfy, like athletic clothes, like the real, if you want the like the real leisure in athleisure, you're gonna like this for sure. So yeah, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Okay, so this was kind of expensive for what it is. I don't know why I'm even saying that because I buy Lululemon all the time and that stuff's expensive for what it is every single time you buy it, but I don't know. This is my opinion. I'm allowed to have my opinion. Okay. So. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So this is the lifestyle tie dye pullover hoodie in ice pink tie dye. Voila. Okay. 
yes so this looks super comfortable and that's one of the reasons why i decided to pick it up Again, I'm just kind of going for comfy stuff. I've been really into cropped hoodies lately. I don't know. I'm like, and no, I don't care that I don't have the abs for it. This was $33.57. I don't know why. I just thought that was kind of expensive for this cropped hoodie. It's really thin. It's very lightweight. It is 95% cotton and 5% elastane but it's it and it feels very nice and comfy but it, it's like not very thick at all which i guess i'm fine with like you know it's not like it doesn't like look thicker on the model or something like that like i'm not surprised then i also did get the matching pants because let's face it like how cute like how cute is a matching set i mean go on so these are the lifestyle high-waisted track pants. So these are probably gonna look really good with these I I imagine this outfit will just come together really nicely. It looks great on the model, but like I Mean she's a model. It's gonna look good on her. She could literally wear anything. It's she's a model She's it's gonna this stuff is gonna look good on her like that's she, 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 yeah, so <laughs> I'm really excited to see what this looks like on me. Um, I have a very I don't know very I'm not a tiny girl okay like I'm not a tiny girl so I want to see I am curious what this is gonna look like on me so we'll see we'll see you know and if you don't like it, you can keep those comments to yourself they are not welcome here but I'm excited and if I hate it I'll let you know these pants were 3847 just FYI okay so with these pants, I really feel like they're just not doing me any favors. I do like that they're high-waisted. I feel like they hide my like little mummy tummy, which is kind of nice. I do appreciate. But I also feel like they make my butt look flat, and they're just not doing me any favors or justice in that area, frankly. I just have a lot of more other pants that would um, compliment me more in that arena. I also feel like I could have sized up in these. These are a large, probably could have gone for the extra large. This is, this top is a medium. I feel like this is the perfect size, like go with either your size or your smaller size, like if you're between sizes, go for your smaller size on the top because it feels bigger than it is. If that makes sense, it just feels like a, it feels bigger than a medium to me. I like the top. I don't, again, I don't love it. I don't like the unfinished edge down here. I'm just not a huge fan of unfinished edges, but that's fine. That's fine. I think it's overall cute. I totally see myself in this top with like a different bottom. I can totally see myself working out in this top. It's a really cute, like flowy top. I feel like I could do a lot of movement in this top um if i lift it it does show like my, the bottom of my bra so you can kind of see like how um like how short it it's it's really short actually oh my god it totally came out of focus hi can you see me how many fingers am i holding up so i do really like this top again i like the aglets i know that's not a huge deal to most people but there's there's things that can make tops and things in general look cheap. Unfinished edges is one of the things that makes things look cheap, okay? That's why I don't love them. But I get it's kind of a stylistic choice, I guess. But, you know, they did put the thicker plastic aglets on this. I mean, it's, it's something small, but it's just something that I notice. I notice details in clothing. So I also know, I mean, there's a hood. The hood is like, I mean, it's... Obviously, I can't wear the hood right now. It won't fit over my hair, but my hair is having a fat day, okay? It's really cute. Like, this shirt is... I, I like the shirt. I'm not as big of a fan of the pants. I just... They don't... I just don't think they actually fit me. Like, if, if I'm being honest, truly... Like, I, you know, I, I guess I should have sized up, maybe. They don't feel tight. It's just the way that they're going around my, my body. <laughs> I'm gonna start making sense one of these days. Um, I'm gonna get into the next outfit though. <laughs> so I just freaking love this color. This is why I got this. I love the color. It is 
it's like it's um it's very stretchy which is convenient but it's it's um it's a it's a nice fabric it's not super super soft but it's it's not unsoft okay it's it's a i like it i like it i'm gonna see what it is what is it okay so this makes sense it is 63% nylon, 24% polyester, and 13% spandex. So that, that makes sense for the feel of this, if you're familiar with that like spandexy, uh, nylon-y feel of fabrics. This is like so, it feels comfortable though, and it has like all these little details. I just kind of love it, like the laser cutouts, the, the rider wear, print text on the back. Is that the word I'm looking for? Again, you see the insignia here? See, that's woven into the fabric. That's not going to like fall off or anything. But this insignia eventually will wear off and I, I'm kind of dreading it. I don't know. Maybe it'll stay on there. We'll see. It seems to be it seems to be pretty on there. We'll see. We'll see. So <laughs> I'm like, I kind of want to like, just be like, I'll let you know, but I may not let you know, you know what I mean? It could be like four years from now, but I'm very much one of those people. Like I buy something, I keep it for like kind of ever. So we'll see. I want, I'm really excited though. Cause this is so, it, it looks so anyways, I'm going to see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So it is, this was only $19 and 18 cents and I just absolutely love I'm dying for the color. It's called electric pink So Now of course I did get the matching pants. Okay, and again, they have the written Rider wear thing on the back now the pattern of the butt area I'm kind of like is this why they were on sale because I don't I don't know I feel like it's a little much but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna rock with it. We're gonna see. I do have like a little gym in my house, so it's kind of like, um, well, I have like a room that's like, I call it the gym. It should be called the place where me and my baby play because it ends up just being a playroom half the time. But I do definitely like enjoy working out in there. So if, if I don't like any of these outfits, they will become home gym workout outfits. And then I just will never leave the house in them. But uh, because it's all like, this is all, um, all this, I bought all of the items on sale. So they're literally not returnable. So yeah, I'm just stuck with them, which is fine. That's fine. It's a risk I was willing to take. So these are, I think these are, they look pretty high waisted. Um, but we'll find out when we try them on. Um, well, when I try them on, you won't be trying them on, or you may be trying them on if you're buying them right now. You're like, I need those in my life. Again, they have the little insignia. Oh, and then of course it has all the little laser cutouts at the bottom. I just love this. I, j I really do. And then they, they attach the tag in here. That's very thoughtful. Sometimes with these, um, these seamless type fabrics, it's very difficult to find a good spot to attach a tag. Okay, I don't know how much we missed, but... These are the Electra Seamless Leggings in electric pink, and they were $25.18, which I think is a good price on a legging. So I just bought four little accessories. I'm just gonna show them to you. I bought a matching hair tie for the, the sweater, and then I just bought a couple of other hair ties. I'm not super like blown away by these. They're okay, they're gonna go into my scrunchie rotation. I mean, what do you want me to say? They were only $1.50 each, so. I bought a few of them, but uh, I don't really have much to say about them. They're, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> okay. So I definitely have feelings about this outfit. Oh my God. Is it not showing up? Hi. Hi camera. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. There you are. Okay. So I have feelings about this outfit. Um, Okay, so I'm definitely, I actually like the pants more than I thought I would. I don't know why I thought that they would look good on me. Um, these types of pants always look like leggings just suit me. I actually, I think I look good in leggings. Maybe I'm one of those people that's like, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think I look good in leggings, so 
I've been wearing Lululemon since 2012. I hope that I that I hope I look good in leggings because if I don't, I've been doing life wrong for a decade. But I really do. I think the pants are good. I think that they hide my mummy tummy pretty well. I'm a little pooch, had a baby, love it, love it. I think that it looks good. I mean, I'm into them for sure. They're really cute. I think I got the right size. I think these are large, so I'm pretty happy about the sizing. Now the top, the top does have thumb holes. I don't particularly like the way the thumb holes are or where they are. And they just, they're just a little bit, it makes the sleeves just a little bit too short for me actually. I really do need this extra slack up here. Now this could be a sizing issue. Maybe I should have gotten a large in the top. I don't know because the other two mediums fit me just perfectly fine. You know, maybe if, uh, maybe a large would have uh, suited me better. I don't know. I just don't love it. I think, you know, it might be too tight in the shoulders for me. Maybe I should have gone for the large. But uh, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not loving the top. I don't, I just, I, I just don't feel like it, it's, I guess it looks cute with the pants though. But um, I don't know, this is a hard decision. You know, I really think that the other top that I was wearing before, the pink one, would look really cute with these pants. So I'm going to try that on. Can you guys see this whole outfit? You seeing this? Okay, so yes. I am really, really, I need to change my headband to like a different color because there's too many different colors of pink. But I am feeling this outfit with, a, with this, you know, this sort of loose top with the tight bottom. I'm really into it. So yes, this outfit is so cute. I'm really into this. I would I would wear this doing almost anything. I would wear this jogging, I would wear this to the gym, I would wear this like here with my mirror, my lovely mirror. But um, if you're not familiar, I did write an article about this, but just like a review, and I really, really like it. So it's not just a mirror, it's a Lululemon um, interactive workout thingy. So <laughs> I'm like, for anybody that's like, why would you write a why <laughs> did you write a whole article review on a mirror? But um, anyways, I do really love this outfit. Let me just back it up one more time. So this is hopefully so that you can see it. But I won't know until, oh my God, that almost fell over. <laughs> it's getting too late, okay? I hope, I won't know how this footage looks until I see it, so. Um, yeah, let me know if you can see the footage or not. Well, I don't know. I really like this outfit though. This, I feel, I feel very confident in this, whereas like with the tight shirt and the tight pants, there was just some, I think there was some restriction in the shoulders a bit, and I just wasn't feeling as confident as I would want to feel in my clothing, so. <sighs> so I hope that you enjoyed my first ever try on haul video. Um, I would like to remind you to always be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. Um, but until next time, uh, you know, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye. I just wanted to say before I like legit end the video because I'm about to like end the video that I would shop here again. Like I'm probably going to go back on their website and see if there's anything else I want to get there. So, <laughs> okay. I think this is cute, right? Is that cute? I don't know.